Michelle Pike again. again. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I know we've been gone for quite some time now, but we yes. are back and hopefully we'll be able to record more no. often now. Hopefully not. We're going to record more often now. Yes. We just been through a lot of stuff. Okay. Good, bad, worse. So many changes come our way, but Yeah. We're, we're still we're still adjusting. Yes. But for now, today the focus of this video is shorty yeah <laughs> shorty. for those of you who don't know what shorty is shorty is the name that gabriel gave to his leg um i don't know why i don't know why he picked it it's just that's it's what he calls short. it it was just like one night he was like careful with shorty and, and after just, that it just stuck. stuck and that's how it is like we're laying down and i'll be like we're shorty here yeah so like, stuff like, yeah, stuff. yeah. But it's how we adjust itself. Yeah. Either it's way, like that's gonna be the focus of this video, and not only that, but actually the scars, um, the healing process that we went through, how it looks now, almost a full year after my yes. amputation. Um, so we'll do some close-ups on the leg, try to explain exactly what everything is, uh, all that good stuff. Right. So without further ado, let's, let's get into it. it. Alright, so first of all, we're going to talk about my upper incision uh, on my upper leg because this is where basically my leg um, exploded due to the impact, due to the pressure, all of that stuff. And it is wider in some spots, especially down here, uh, due to the fact that after my uh, surgery and everything after that, every time I bent my knee, it would just kind of open up even more and more. So uh, there was a point where I actually had to keep my leg just straight, just to let it heal. And as you see back here, it is a little um, closer because there's not a lot of movement up here. And this is about five, six inches uh, long. And it was actually all the way down to my bone. And I don't know if you guys could notice, all these little spots right next to it, those are basically where the stitches were. And I think I counted them and I came up with 18 stitches. Um, and that's just counting the scars that I have next to my leg. And it comes all the way up here. So um, as you see, the little holes, they were pretty wide. So the stitch itself was pretty big and it should be pretty detailed um, everything uh, a thing with amputees and just with the liner that you have to use in order to keep your leg your prosthesis on it causes a lot of ingrown hair and that is something that my doctors and everyone basically told me uh, they said do not shave your leg just be aware that they will you will have ingrown hair and I do, and kind of sucks, but it just happens. Um, so moving down a little further, finally onto my stump. Um, this incision, um, I honestly don't know how long it is. I'm guessing about seven to eight inches. Um, it starts from this point right here, and it ends all the way back here. And basically this whole skin that's basically my calf so just imagine it as a flower that was open like this and then they just they just closed it up so with this incision I actually had some type of um, issue with it I guess I don't, I don't know how else to say it but once they removed my stitches uh, they placed 30 strips all around just to keep it nice and closed just in case it opened again <coughs> excuse me just in case it opened again and it did uh, especially from this part which is the whole front end of it uh, it actually started opening and I had some complications with that it took me probably a month more uh, to be able to even just get casted for my prosthesis uh, everything was looking fine at the beginning 
I was expected to get a prosthesis within the first two, two and a half months after the amputation. But with that complication right there, it pushed me back almost two more months because I ended up getting my prosthesis with four months, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was about just four months. It was like right before Halloween, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, so just around four or five months. Uh, that's when I was able to get my prosthesis due to some complications that I had with the incisions themselves. Um, and this is something that, you know, with any type of surgery, um, doesn't matter how small, doesn't matter how big it is, you will have some type of complications. But they weren't too severe. It just took me longer to heal. Um, but so far, so good. Like I said, it's been almost... A full year since my amputation and basically everything is completely closed this muscle right here on my upper leg it's been really really hard to build up um, you guys can see it's like so wobbly and stuff just because the muscle mass on it did reduce uh, tremendously so that's something that I'm working on. I'm trying to find workouts, trying to find exercises to do. That way I can build up that muscle again. Um, so if you guys know any amputees out there or any, I don't know, uh, trainers, whatever it is that you guys are, if you guys have any clue of how I could be able to build this like back up, uh, Please put it down down in the comment section. Uh, I'll even do a video about it, trying to see how I build up my leg. Because if we compare it to my right leg, I mean, just the just the size of it is noticeable. And of course, this leg is not as wobbly as this one is. This one's not at all. So that's just something that wanted to share with you guys um, of course those are new amputees or those who have been amputees you guys are starting to know or you guys already know about this um, complications about your incisions how long it takes for you to, to uh, get your prosthesis um, how you adjust to it uh, there is times that especially in the morning I do have trouble putting on my leg because it just there's just too much pain and I'm that person who doesn't like to take any pain pills even though I do have them but it's your choice but yeah that's basically it that's how my leg looks almost a full year after my amputation um, if you guys have any questions about it about any of the incisions about exactly what kind of complications I had, how long it took for them to remove my stitches, uh, my third strips, I actually had to peel them off myself because for some reason they just wouldn't come off and that's the, something that the nurse told me to. There was two stitches if I remember correctly that they still were inside so once I went to get them cut off and removed, uh, I'm guessing that she cut both sides so one side stayed in and she pulled the other out i can't really remember exactly which ones but the stitches were still there and i thought first um from the beginning i thought that it was just like an ingrown hair so i started picking at it and then all of a sudden like this long piece of stitch came out so that is why also um, you guys can see that it goes all across and that's because the actual stitch itself was cutting me because I don't know exactly what kind of stitches they used but they were pretty thick and they were almost like metal um, so it did cut me pretty bad and of course like I said with me bending my knee the end of it would like not really close and heal completely that's why it's a little wider than back here so that will basically be it for tonight uh, we just want to show you guys exactly how my leg looks now 
I know I do, um, a lot of people do wonder how it really looks. And even some of my friends, or some of my close friends, they haven't even seen it in person just because they're afraid to ask, they don't feel comfortable. I had a friend who was just um, not used to seeing big injuries or stuff like that, so he would actually freak out. But hopefully this video will show you guys um, a nice picture of how it really looks once again a year, almost a year after my amputation and that will be all for tonight we hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it made some sense for you guys just to see how an amputation it really looks like and the incision itself so thank you guys again for watching don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe we'll see you on the next video